Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Adai Miniatures and today you can hear the rolling probably already. I'm gonna be working on this, oh my goodness, there's too much. Dodge D100 something something, yeah. For a Cooper 911, the second prize winner. Yeah, so, yeah, your car. Uh, um, uh, uh, you know, I can probably try to do something similar. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a, a little bit complicated, but you know, I never really stray from a challenge, so let's give it a, ch a shot and see if I can take a twist on your build. Yeah, I know that I have something already done with a twist on your build, so hopefully, hopefully, this is gonna work out and we'll see something great there. Let's just get on the table and start building. So, ladies and mental gents, here we are again. So this is my second approach to converting this car. Unfortunately, the first one failed miserably. I just didn't like how it started to look, so I didn't assemble it. But I'm still going with almost the same idea. Uh, I wanted to make it a walker, yeah? So I was, you know, just putting these legs and I was thinking that they're gonna be working nicely. But then I just twisted them and the idea just click it's gonna be a flyer from the Mars Federation yeah and I don't know yet how I gonna paint it yeah the painting is still a far away idea but what I'm just thinking you know this kind of slick uh, uh, panel is gonna look very futuristic if we just paint it metallic I'm thinking about leaving this uh, solar panel just as it is not even covering it with paint just allowing it you know to look like a solar panel yeah, and basically this is gonna be repulsors. They can have you know some weapons hidden inside, but I think that I'm just gonna skip the weapons hidden inside. So I already tidied up the mm, wheel wells a little bit, yeah, and of course, like I said, I cut towards myself where I do this stuff. Yeah, I would highly advise for you to not do it. You have, you should be cutting away from yourself if you don't feel comfortable with blade like I do. Please, you know. Just cut away from yourself, yeah. And of course, even co people who feel comfortable with blades, at some stage they're just gonna cut their finger. Yeah. So it's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah. I would never probably show it on the uh, on the show, as you know. I would just cut it, cut it out and show with a plaster on my finger. I would never admit to cutting my finger. <laughs> Of course, I'm joking. I cut my finger on multiple occasions, but not actually doing the uh, gas lamps just yet. Yeah, so far, gas lamps have been good for me. Yeah, the conversions don't want to hurt me. So, yeah. So what I'm, like I say, what I'm thinking is just getting this done. Yeah, I need a little bit uh, gluing, and of course, these are legs from my spin table that I broke. Yeah, I just have it on my resin 3D printer, standing on my resin 3D printer one day and you know, my brain just didn't work, I just pick up the cover from my printer and of course it landed on the floor and broke. So yeah, I don't gonna be building base for this my friend, so you're gonna have to figure out the base yourself. I would just advise you drilling a little hole, have some wires and you know, maybe some exhaust gases going out. Yeah, but what I'm thinking, yeah, you know, this is how it should be flying, you know, like more in this position. And now weapons, 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 weapons. Where do I have some cool weapons? Of course, I have 3D printed weapons, like always, somewhere. Yeah, come on. Where are you? Weapons. <sighs> what a day. Oh, no, I think that I know what to put in, what to put on. Heavy bolter, yeah. I have this lovely heavy bolter, and this is gonna give some asymmetry to the car or symmetry. Hmm. Like, I was thinking, you know, maybe something on the bottom, something in here, but how it looks, you know, this is the ejection port for the ammo. So, I just think about cleaning up, cleaning this up, and just adding this to one side, yeah, and give the asymmetry. Just gonna do exactly that, just clean this side. And of course, you know, this heavy bolter was already attached to something else. You can see a lot of glue 
a residue here, yeah? Because I tend to build toys and after a while I tend to just change my mind and convert them again. So that's what I think is gonna go exactly over stop rolling. It's not cool when the blade is rolling towards the edge of the table, you know? A lot of bad things can happen on that stage. So, hmm, am I happy with that? No. I just want to have it like that, maybe. No, it's now... Uh, come on. I want to have it roughly just aiming as the car should be going. Okay, I think that that's how it is. Yeah, it's gonna be looking a little bit weird over here, but it's looking like it is almost leveled with the car. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave one because I know what I'm. I know what I would normally do. I would just start, you know, adding piece by piece by piece by piece, and eventually there would be too many pieces to actually get it done right. Mm, yes. So what else do I want to do? I know that I want something else to it. I had some good ideas, yeah, and you know, I still didn't figure out, you know, what I wanted to do. Like I was thinking about this pipe, you know, just being here just to level the car. Yeah, but on the other hand, why? There is no good reason for it. Uh, of course, you know, the new crafting material, we could use some of those. But again, mm, not really clicking to my head. You know how it is with me, I need to have this nice click and before, like I said, when I, I struggle sometimes with ideas, yeah. Mm. All right, so now to balance the weapons, I think that I'm gonna just add a rocket launcher on top of this. Yeah. So here, so rocket launcher, very small one, yeah, but I'm just thinking that this giant repulsor just looks, it looks better than Cybertruck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I needed to throw this out, yeah, Cybertruck is probably the ugliest ever looking device on, in the, on the entire planet, yeah. Even the first cars, you know, did look better. Yeah, and now I'm just gonna start gribbling it. Yeah, so just a little bit of this, a little bit of a Monica in my life, and so on and so forth. We all know the songs, at least you know those of us who are old fogies, <laughs> which means most, most of us, yes, know these songs. And of course I have this little detail that I took from a what did I call it? This was a toothpick box. I just want to cover a uh, front window, so I need to shrink it a little bit. Just a little bit, like maybe this much. Yep. I don't want to have a fully covered window, just side uh, one half of it. I don't know, I just feel like it works in this case. Yeah. And I have these little different panels. Yeah, I can just put it in here as a patch job, you know, to fix this proper and uniform looking element. Yeah, and by fix I mean just, you know, show a massive patch job that someone just put. Mm. And of course... Yep, this. Because this is gonna be somewhat of a Mars Federation build in that case. Yeah, I think that some giant coil just going somewhere would be a nice touch. Yeah, maybe going from here, from the back, you know, to the back of the uh, repulsors. And of course, you know, I fully take responsibility if this is gonna look silly. As well, I fully, you know, keep the right to decide, you know, once I put it in, that it isn't looking good, and that I want to remove it, yeah? So I just think maybe under the wheel, well, just, you know, fit it here, roughly, and then go around, 
and we have this little bar in here which gonna be able to hold it properly actually I like it yeah even though it isn't very pretty I like what it is doing to the car so just glue it into the place the same with this okay I just want it in here so this slide it down I just going to slide it back up and allow this to just get stuck oh, okay and this part here so I definitely stray away from your own build, yeah, but I didn't want to build a exactly exact the same thing. I just want to be inspired and you inspired me to get rid of the wheels. Yeah, the rest is definitely a Armstrong madness. So actually that was the one of the first uh, uh, ideas for my channel name. One of them was uh, Armstrong madness and the other one was uh, Armstrong Emporium, yeah, and then I w came around, you know, to Mad Eye Miniatures. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Come on. And okay, now I can just add a little bit of a super glue here and of course here remember not too much eh? because too much super glue can be runny <coughs> like I ever heard about that yep okay it looks silly yeah and I like it I like when silliness wins yeah and I'm really sorry I'm so tired but my brain is actually kicking out it's just telling me you know Seb goes to sleep yeah so I think that I'm gonna finish this tomorrow morning and I'm really sorry that I still didn't send the um, packages yeah they're gonna be coming out soon I just need to finish printing I didn't think that I did think that I printed enough pieces but of course I didn't it turned out that I'm missing about 40 ish weapons <laughs> yeah. so please be patient with me I'm really sorry but at least I managed to post the, you know, the video and I'm gonna be, those packages gonna be out with you soon. I'm really, really, really sorry for delaying this. Yeah. Like I said, if I wasn't doing this job, I would have this all done already. And now I'm just struggling, you know, to keep my brain working well enough to put videos together, so. I need to po pop into the post office tomorrow just to grab a right size envelopes and then I'm gonna be just packing everything after my 3D printer is finished. I think that I'm gonna be running like next few prints today and tomorrow and I should be almost done. Okay, just grabbing more weapons and I don't know why. I think that this is good enough for today. So I'm gonna black bomb it but I ain't gonna finish painting this today, so I'm gonna finish this tomorrow and post it tomorrow. So yeah, let's just, you know, black bomb it and finish it tomorrow then. Yeah. Talk to you later, guys. So I have it black bombed somewhat, I would say. Yeah, and I was just thinking, you know, what color to paint it. I was thinking about a lot of rust, but first of all, I need to just apply some metallics, yeah. Because you know my style, I always try to go with a metallic dry brush. Although, like I have to admit that you know most of this uh, paneling from the uh, what do you call it now? From my old spin table is not actually even painted. I just left it as it was. Yes, I'm just working with a. Wow, this paint is just really. It's been an hour since I painted it, all black. <sighs> okay. So how you can see, you know, I'm failing miserably. Everything is still wet. So I started to paint it before, but unfortunately there was still some black paint lingering that didn't want to get fully dried. So I just throw this in under the uh, 
hair dryer and it helped a lot hopefully uh, so the I'm just thinking you know about making it very rusty but on the other hand it is a at the end of the day it's gonna be a Mars Federation build -ish. yes I don't know that the rust would really work I'm just you know somewhere in between those two and of course you know the side panels here that I painted that I added from the legs of my old mm, spin table are not really very well painted as they were all black and the black paint didn't show up on them very well so yay. yeah but well oh lovely I just realized that I didn't even have the car inside of the camera focus oh extra noises from my wife yeah she decided to be a part of this video I guess <laughs> hmm I don't think that I have enough of the oh okay I didn't have enough of the metallic paint yeah so just like I said quick very dirty metallic dry brush and it really worked on this car yeah. And to be completely honest, I was on the defense about all of this, yeah. I was half happy, half disappointed in it. Yeah, but now when I see it consolidated with the paint and everything, it really works, so I'm happy. Yeah, and you know that I'm very critical of my work. Quite often, even if I'm somewhat satisfied with a build, I would say uh, it doesn't really feel right. And that's why this one took me so long because I was actually struggling with visualizing what I want to do with it uh, and when I get to that point I always take a long long time to process it yeah, but like I said I was thinking about a lot of rust yeah maybe this is one of the first Mars Federation builds you know which was built out of one of the landers or whatever that would be my uh, uh, my thinking about it, yeah. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just dive into rusting this up because I know that otherwise I'm just gonna uh, chicken out of it, yeah. And I'm gonna paint it into some some sort of a reddish colors because you know I would think that it's gonna be Mars, you know, so to camo it a little bit. But I don't want to, like for example, I don't want to put the rust on the hood or on the roof. So I'm gonna mostly focus on the side panels. Yeah, and we will see what's happened here. Yeah, how you can see, I'm not gentle with that rust. I'm really going over it very, very heavy. So we're gonna call this one old boy, I guess. All right, I think that I'm almost done with the rust here. Yep, with this color of the rust. Yeah, and now to add a different layer of it, I'm gonna just go with the contrast blood, whatever. Yeah, not cleaning the brush, so it's gonna have some more pigment from the orange as well. And we know that contrast don't like to be dry brush down so let's just add this like that and I know that contrast should be applied on the white background but who really cares I'm trying them because I really don't know how well those paints work in any circumstances this is my I think third or fourth use of the contrast altogether I never seen the point of buying them But, you know, since I, one of the stores in town, like I said, started stocking up Warhammer, yeah, I still don't want to buy the models in the full price, because my god, those prices are extortion. Yeah, and I prefer to 3D print the proxies, since I do not go to the tournaments, and of course, scratch build my own ones. 
Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm just you know trying to support them in any other way. I don't want them to go uh, decide to to say you know oh I, we don't want to stop Warhammer because it isn't bringing any money in. So like always you know just a little bit of support for the local store. All right, I'm keeping the solar panels untouched because I want to keep them as they are. Yeah, and now let's just grab some of the blue color that with some of the contrast. Yeah, and I'm gonna use this in two ways. I'm sorry, my wife is actually preparing for a walk, so I just decided to quickly fill it in. So I just want to put it on the window and then I want to add it to the wires, yeah? It ain't gonna be a full cover, I just want to have it going like that. Yeah, just to, not to add the glow, but to just give a different color to this, as it is very monochromatic as a build. Yep. All right, so the blue is good enough. Close the paints. And now, we are almost there, and again, without cleaning the brush, because you know how I hate cleaning brushes. I, it's not that I hate it, it's just, you know, inconvenient when you try to do speed builds. Um, so again, mud and dirt, and in this case, you know, it's gonna be con con uh, collected mostly on the repulsors, I guess. And I know that I should be going with more of the red, but there is already enough red and orange in it. So I'm just adding this here. Yeah, and I'm really hoping that all of that paint ain't gonna just slide off this plastic because I just have a feeling that this plastic is one of those that just allows the paint to slide off it. Yeah, so a lot of this and then a lighter color. And like how you can see, I'm not going very gently. I'm actually going very, heavy on that yeah, as like I said this car do not actually have a proper base yeah, if you're gonna build one for it it's okay I fully support that decision yeah it's gonna be easy just drill a hole in here at the plastic base you know and that's all <clears throat> but I'm just thinking that you know if it was actually built like that but it was resting on the repulsor then the driver would have to go out through the window yeah this part of the car would actually be dirty air <laughs> than the others yeah okay let's see how much of the weathering powder powder i still have left there is still some of it so with this brush still being wet it's going to be easy to pick up and add to the build come on Oh, there we go, it's just now starting to go. Yeah, and with the weathering powder, I think that I can actually go all over those repulsors and even add some on the car itself. As I just think, you know, the Martian dust would just settle wherever. Yep, yeah. and now just gentle blow. And I think that this build is done. Yeah, let's just toss it on the spin table and finish this one up so here it is in its full glory our mars federation i think mars federation glider whatever you want to call it yeah i think that actually the solar panels on the side really work well yeah, they especially you know when you have some light shining on them they really kind of work as a glossy surfaces and generally i was I was kind of worried that this car gonna be a little bit iffy, but I am very, very happy how it turned out. So yeah, that's, you know, just great that I can be satisfied with the build, yeah? So I just put this aside and let's get rid of the spin table for a moment. Well, not for a moment, for a longer moment. And of course, let's do a little bit of a draw. Oh, I have a bag, yeah. There it is, we know about it, and let's just have a quick mm. 
draw out of it. Yep, come on, come on, one more. Okay. So, for our second place taker, we have a this little crescent, crescendo. Yeah? I don't know what it is. It's yellow, so you know, winner. Winner chicken dinner. 76 Greywood Corvette. I love this car, yeah. I think that can work perfectly in either a Mars Federation and in regular Gaslands. And of course, of course, of course, Mazda Ripu, Ripu, whatever, yeah. So, yeah, there we go. So, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, family, and whoever else wants to watch me building a next Gasland disaster. And of course, everybody have a great day and take care. Bye.